In her judgment, Justice Barbara Tetechawe indicated that the plaintiffs failed to substantiate and provide adequate evidence to back their claims. Food Sovereignty Ghana and three other groups were seeking declarations on whether required processes and laws have been adhered to in the ongoing plans to commercialize GMOs. The group also wanted a declaration from the Human Rights Court on whether or not Biosafety Authority observed the critical domestic and international laws of risk assessment and management in relation to the release and commercialization of BT cowpea and rice in the country. Again, they wanted a declaration from the court as to whether the defendants have proper and detailed documentation in relation to the area of risk assessment and management in relation to the intention to release and commercialize BT cowpea and rice in the Ghanaian ecosystem and if they met the accepted legal requirements in the handling of GMO activities. The court, in dismissing the release by Food Sovereignty Ghana, held that the Biosafety Authority had not released any GM products for commercialization since they had been involved in extensive research work and sensitization of indigents in the catchment area of their research. Lawyer for Food Sovereignty Ghana, Wayo Ghanamainti, reacted after the judgment. I tell you, when we start labeling GMOs in this country, no Ghanaian is going to buy GMOs. Our ancestors have eaten our conventional food and will continue to eat conventional food until that thy kingdom come. Our lands are fertile, we can produce foods, we can feed ourselves. GMO is not the way to go. Who told you that GMO is the way to go for Ghana? Ghana's food security is for the state, for the nation, to put in drastic measures for our agriculture industry to boom. We produce tomatoes, we produce food stuff, we leave them on the market, uh, on the farms to rot. CEO of National Biosafety Authority expressed satisfaction. Genetically modified organisms are products that are everywhere in this world. Uh, nobody can say no, don't bring GMOs into the, into the country. But what the law says is that if anybody wants to bring it, the person should pass through the right channel. So, oh, labeling must not be told to government. The government knows that. And we have already filled the guidelines on labeling. So GMO label, GMOs will be labeled anywhere they appear. So um, that's not a big deal. The full complement of the judgments on the suits which began in 2015 will be made available later by the court. Lord Edward Sari, TV3 News, Accra.